Oh my gosh, these are so good. If you guys want to learn how to make these calabacitas stuffed with cheese, stay tuned because I'm about to show you. We're going to begin by prepping our Mexican squash. Now, if you can't find Mexican squash at your grocery store, you can just use regular zucchinis. I previously dropped the squash into a pot of boiling water for about five minutes. That's just to soften it up. We're not cooking it. Now, we're going to make slices about an inch to an inch and a half until they look like this. We are going to make another slit in the calabaza, but we're not going to go all the way through, and we're going to stuff it with cheese. Let me show you. that and you're gonna stuff the inside of the calabaza like that <sighs> now that all of our calabacitas have been stuffed with cheese we're gonna make the egg batter where the calabacitas are gonna be dipped in and fried every time that i make this egg batter i tell you do not mix any egg yolk to your egg whites or it's not gonna work and by any i mean any spoon of egg yolk it's not gonna work now that you separated your egg whites from your egg yolks you're gonna work smarter not harder and using your mixer you're going to beat the egg whites until they're nice and stiff like this that is how you know that you have successfully beat those egg whites how they're supposed to be and your batter's gonna be super fluffy now it's when the egg yolks come into the party and you're gonna slowly mix them together or this batter will deflate now you're gonna add two tablespoons of flour into your batter and it's ready. At this point, you're gonna be working hard. We're gonna dust our calabacitas with a little bit of flour to make sure that the egg batter sticks to the calabazas. Now this is a messy job, but somebody has to do it. Now, if you don't like to get yourself dirty, there's always pinzas or something that you can use. Now you're gonna dip your calabazas into your egg batter and you're gonna shallow fry in an oil that has been preheated to a medium to high heat. Can be too hot and it cannot be too cold. If it's too hot, your egg batter will burn. And if it's too cold, all it's going to do is absorb too much oil. Once you make sure that they're nice and crispy on both sides, you're going to remove it and let them drain. Once you have finished frying all your calabazas, you are going to make a sauce that's going to go with them. I had previously boiled three tomatoes, two chile guajillos, and a quarter piece of onion. After 10 minutes of boiling, I put them into my blender along with three garlic cloves, half a tablespoon of cumin and oregano, chicken bouillon, and salt and pepper to taste. And we blend. Now we're going to fry up the sauce. And you're also going to add some water. At this point, you have two options. You can either add your calabazas into your sauce and let it simmer for about 10 minutes or let the sauce simmer and then you're going to pour your sauce all over your calabazas. This way will prevent you from overcooking your calabaza, making your cheese rubbery, or making the egg soggy. But if I'm being honest, I make them both ways and I like them both the same. Now I'm just going to pair mine with a little side salad, a Mexican rice, and lots of avocado. And let me tell you, this recipe is so good, you need to try it. But there you have it, guys. If you like this recipe and you want to see some more, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on everything. They are so good. Hey, 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 hey.